Wow, this is heavy. Whoa, look at that. It's so heavy. Right, let's get into it and see what we've got. Oh, we know, I know what we've got. I'm excited to see inside. Right. that off. Oh. Let's see. Oh, look. I didn't realize it had come assembled. Not sure how to show you that best. Let's see if I can Oh, there. We... Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay. Let's get rid of the polystyrene. All that gets everywhere. <clears throat> wow, this looks amazing. Rubber bands, I bet it's very greasy. They normally are just to keep them from going rusty. Wow, look at this. Greasy bit. Right, let's cut, cut that. Ah, oh, and then you just have to screw in the handle by the looks of it. But my word, it's heavy. Very heavy. <laughs> that over there I don't know how that comes out right, let's see what we've got can you see this is a um, newspaper with, with Chinese writing on it it's got to be a way of uh, well there's there's no instructions but I shouldn't shouldn't need them I don't think screw in the handle and then I can probably lift that up to get the newspaper out so let's screw that in there aren't many parts to it so it can't be too complicated well that goes in well there we go now if I press that Ah, if I press that back, you see, it lifts this bit up here. And then, does that lift out? It must do. Yeah. So that lifts out so we can get the plastic off that. Oh, that's nice. You see some of them and they're quite rough, but... Um, that's really nice and smooth and pleased with that. Let's take that off, put that back on. There's the newspaper in Chinese, look. Wonder what it says. Uh, right, so it would appear that for the reducer, you, you put your ring in there and press that down and for the stretcher this bit this has got one two three this has got four tines that um, when you press that handle back they open up I don't know if you can see that but they are opening up and that's what stretches your ring so the next job to do is uh, just go and solder I'll get a bit of copper and solder a very simple little ring and we'll have a go at um, stretching it and reducing it that'll be fun actually I don't need to make a ring I've got this um, I was playing around with prototypes for 
for my uh, multi-strand ring and this is copper uh, and it'll be interesting I'll just play with this uh, be interesting to see if it splits the solder or really what happens so let's have a look um, let's put it on there that comes to well it, it's wavy at the bottom so it varies uh, it comes really between P and Q on there don't know if you can see that so let's put let's put that on and have a go and see what happens i've no idea how many pumps of this handle it's going to need but uh, i think it does need bolting down as well people do say that you should bolt them down so let's have a look what happens whoa and of course i haven't annealed this so it's not Oh, there. Um, it's probably a bit, st oh, it's a bit, a bit stiff. People do say they get a bit stiff because they're new. Um, right, let's have a look what that's done. That was just one. Oh, yeah. Slightly bigger. Maybe I was a bit gentle. Needs to be more than that. So, um, let's see. Let's have another go. Actually, this is a little bit stiff. Um... I wonder if I'm supposed to boil it or if the oil works through. But that is, is a bit stiff, as you can see. But it wouldn't be that stiff if it was screwed down to the top. And maybe that's what I need to do. It has got numbers on it, by the way. Um, yeah, I think I need... This is going to need oiling, I think. There we go, and it would help if it was bolted down, no doubt about that. Oh yes, that's done it. That's actually gone down to S now, so that's a fair old jump. And it hasn't split the solder, credibly enough. How amazing. So, let's have a go with this now. Let's have a go at the reducing. Um, although I don't know how this will reduce because it's several layers, but hey ho, this is only a only a tryout. So let's have a go. Presume that you just move that round to there. Press that down. And then turn it over. Do the same again. It's very interesting doing it on a on a multi-strand ring because it's supposed to be for wedding rings really so just for plain bands actually this is getting this look at that that's getting so much looser now already um so i think it's just a matter of working it in right now of course that has but i was going to say that has squashed it down now but there's nothing to stop me from opening those spaces up again like I did originally. Yeah, crikey. That's put that down to an N. So that's blooming well worked, hasn't it? Well, so far, so good. So I'm going to put it back on there. I'm pushing my luck now, aren't I? Uh, actually. And if you pull the handles, of course, it closes those. So let's pop that on and stretch it out again. Oh yeah, it's working so much easier now. Just needed, oh, I saw that drop. Did you see that? Uh, watch when I pull this handle back, that'll drop because it stretched it. Come on, monkey. Yeah, it definitely needs bolting down. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Look at that drop down. Oh, I need just on now because I've moved it. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> Back down to an S again now. That's incredible. 
Uh, that's worked so much better than I was expecting. I mean, I was expecting big things from it and, and I do love it. And um, of course, for all of us people that love tools, it, it looks rather beautiful as well. Um, so yeah, all I've got to do now is open those those spaces up again as I did originally and we've got a decent ring back again and something it wasn't before it actually is perfectly round now so this would be good not only for rings this would be good for making little circles for pendants earrings rings of course but it's got loads of uses and I I think that I'll get a lot of use out of that. And I'm very pleased with it. So the details of that, um, I will put a link um, from uh, on underneath in the description for where I got it from. Um, I was uh, recommended to get it from AL Findings. Um, they're over in um, Suffolk, I think. They're somewhere over in East Anglia. Um, and when I went onto their website, they'd got a little code for 15% off. Um, so I put the code in. I can't, I think it was eighty four pounds to start with, which is which is even which is good. It is eighty four pounds worth of value. I do have to say, uh, but with the fifteen percent off, um, I actually got it for seventy two. So I think that is going to be a boon and a great addition to my workshop. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it, you find it as useful. Um, as, as I did watching other people's and uh, yeah it's fabulous you can see I don't know if you can see but you you watch that as I push the handle look now it's smoother obviously the oil it just needed working a bit it was stiff because it'd been standing but isn't that amazing this bit comes out the top and uh, that's the, I think that's good I think that's really good. I'm very pleased with it. So any questions, let me know. I'll help if I can.